Taraba State, nature's gift to the nation, is blessed with immense arable land for farming. On the program this week, our focus is agricultural development by Governor Daros Ishaku-led administration. My name is Nelson Etta, and this is Discover Taraba. Agriculture is one of the key sectors that the administration of Governor Daros Ishaku is focusing on to transform the state into a wealthy one. The man saddled with the responsibility of bringing that vision into reality is the State Commissioner for Agriculture, David Ishaya. Taraba alone can feed this entire country uh, without running short of, of food. Let me first talk about the, 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 the potential that we have that you just mentioned about Taraba that will be able to produce uh, the food that can be consumed in this country, that can, we can feed Nigeria. It's, it's, you are very correct. Mm. Because uh, let's just pick rice alone. Yeah. Taraba has an ecosystem for the production of rice a lot. Just like you can see behind us, it's a beautiful rice farm. Yes. You understand? And across all the local governments, apart from two local governments, the remaining 14 produces rice. This is because we have the potentials, we have uh, the soil, the fadama, uh, that is good for production of rice. You know the famous river Benue uh, cut across many local governments in Taraba State. Uh, and uh, so there are so many rivers that feed the river Benue that also cut across many villages and other local governments in, 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 in Taraba, like River Donga, uh, River Taraba itself, and other famous rivers. This provides, both banks provides alleviation, just like this small river, the River Lamude, that provides this kind of alleviation for so rice production. Rice, yeah. We have numerous and numerous and numerous of them. And uh, you know Taraba, in the first place, we have the land. Taraba is taught in landmass after Niger, Borno. The next in terms of landmass is Taraba. That's enough space to yes. grow your food. We have about 54 uh, kilometers square of land hmm. in Taraba State, which makes it third largest. And out of the 54 kilometers square, we have about 6 million land that is arable, that is suitable for cultivation of various types of crops. You understand? Now, if we pick rice alone, Taraba, by a survey that was conducted and was funded by IFAT, International Fund for Agricultural Development, in 2017 or thereabout, Taraba was second in rice production in the country. Taraba was second. At that time, Taraba was able to produce about one million metric tons of rice, of rice annually, as of that time. His Excellency was able to empower about 30,000 farmers. That was then in 2017, in Karim Lamido alone. This is a local government that is seated at the bank of River Benue. And they do dry season and wet season rice farming. That empowerment was done only for dry season farmers. That brought a lot of productivity and a lot of empowerment. He created a lot of wealth in those farming communities. And just last year we were able to again, he did an intervention and empower youths and women, over 1,000 in Donga local government area. Donga also is a community, it's a local government at the bank of River Taraba. They have the ecosystem for rice production. Now, as we speak, last year, our statistics tells us that we have up to 1.7 uh, million tons of rice. Being produced Being here. produced annually in Taraba. This is without any external support. This is from the little lean resources that the state government has that we were able to bring out this in support of what the government does uh, in terms of provision of free certified seeds to farmers and herbicides also to farmers and mechanization uh, support to farmers. 
we're able to bring out about 1.5 metric, ton metric tons of rice. Out of the 10 million metric tons of rice produced nationally, because Nigeria is the largest producer of rice in West Africa, Africa, in the entire West Africa. And if you come to Nigeria, we're about second. That tells you that yes, with the necessary support from the central government, we will be able to feed Nigeria comfortably with Let's rice. And that will save yes. this country from the eight to ten billion dollars being that spent annually. Yeah, for in importation, importation of rice. Of rice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and let, that let's, be able let's, to let's do. a little bit on that again, uh, talking yes. about partnership and, yeah. and what the central government, now the federal government, of course, mm. and um, other agencies are doing to mm. actively partner and support Taraba for not just the production of rice, but yeah. agriculture as a whole. Um, has the government reached out? I mean, the state government reached out to either the federal government or to CBN or to BOI, Bank of Industry, or even the AFDB, the African Development Bank, and, and several other agencies and, 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 and financiers, have the government reached out to them and what's the level of support and partnership that they are willing or have already brought to the table? Well, um, apart from some development agencies like the IFAD, IFAD is International Fund of Agricultural Development, which uh, the, its value chain development program is being in, uh, implemented in Taraba. Out of the six states that has high potential in rice production, Taraba was selected as one of the six states in the survey that they did and we qualified to benefit from that. They are intervening in value addition in terms of uh, rice and cassava, you understand. And uh, also, there used to be an intervention from Fadama, and Fadama, you know, was phased out in 2019. They used to do a lot of technical support. And you know, these uh, organizations, does more of technical support mm. in terms of training, uh, technology transfer, and other things like that. They do not really support farmers in terms of inputs much and all other things that they need in order to produce crops. And also of recent, the, 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 the Northeast Development Commission was able to donate some farm implements to the states. Yes. Uh, speaking of support again to farmers, um, yes. You mentioned earlier that farmers mostly are peasant farmers. Yes. So they are people who farm at local levels. Mm -hmm. They require a lot of um, um, mechanization to assist them to produce at a commercial quantity. Yes. Has the state government done anything in that area in terms of buying machines and equipment to help? Yeah. Because again, the soil can be sometimes hard to work on. Yeah, I think uh, w when we came on board at the, as an administration, because I've been privileged to serve in His Excellency's second tenure as commissioner. For the seven years that he's been in office, I've been commissioner all this well. And all this well, it may interest you to know, I've been in the Ministry of Agriculture. So you are the right man? Yes, I think I should be the right man, apart from His Excellency himself. Then um, what happens is that uh, before we came on board, there was no single tractor in Taraba State that was functional. There was none, I can still tell you that. But when we came on board, we look at the need for mechanization because days are gone when farmers use cutlasses and holes just like this my brothers are using, you understand. You need at least some mechanization, a machine, to be able to do some things in order to remove drudgery from farmers. And you should be able to increase your yield and so on and so forth. Considering that need, his Excellency were able, was able to procure about 30 tractors, massive Ferguson tractors. And those tractors were distributed to cooperatives. They were formed by farmers. And as we speak, they are there working. He was able to also procure mini tractors, which we procured uh, about uh, 200 mini tractors. Uh, uh, the, 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 the good thing about the mini tractor is that since most of our farmers are peasants and are smallholders, uh, the farmers can be able to cultivate a hectare or two and it's easy to maintain. With a gallon of gasoline, you should be able to cultivate one hectare or two hectares because that is, most of them is the largest farm they can also cultivate. Yes. So he was able to procure that and distribute to farmers. He was also able to procure power tillers 
distribute to farmers. We're able to also procure uh, multi-purpose treasures that you use during harvest in order to trash your rice or soybeans or even maize. You understand? So we were able to do this uh, so that it will serve. Even uh, we're able to also uh, get uh, knapsack sprayers and distribute to farmers as a way of intervention so that it will enhance uh, their productivity. At the end of the day, the, the, the goal is that when the farmer's productivity is increased, it means it gets, it gets more uh, uh, yield per hectare compared to the, the manual way of, of farming. This is in, in addition to, like I said, the agro inputs like the fertilizer that we used to do, apart from this year that there is a lot of issues about fertilizer and also certified uh, uh, seed seeds that we distribute uh, to farmers. So at the end of the day, the farmer is able to produce more per hectare. Uh, and uh, more yield per hectare means more money for the farmer mm -hmm. to be able to cater for the needs of the farmers. Yes. So that is the way we created wealth uh, to our rural farmers and also empower them. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. As the sun rises to bring forth a new day, Taraba farmers are making their ways to their farms. It is a large expanse of farmland here in Gulum, Corner Road in Jalingo, the state capital. Some of the crops grown here are maize, cassava, groundnut, potato, shagam, and sesame. You grow tea, you grow coffee, you grow avocado, you grow strawberry, you grow apples. These are all tropical fruits and plants. From grapes you make wine. So importing wine from South Africa or importing from Italy or from Spain, you can do the wine. It's a true reflection of the nickname of Taraba State, nature's gift to the nation. We met some farmers on the farm tending their crops. I spoke with some of the farmers who commended the impact of Governor Daros Ishaku's agricultural empowerment scheme on farming in the state. <laughs> wannan daya daga ciki kenan taimako ne wadda da muna yin gonake amma gaskiya ba mu iya yin gona biyu uku amma yanzu muna iya yin gona biyu uku hudu taimako nan gwamnati taraba state governor ya taimake mu da magunguna da wayan su abuwa amma da ya mana promise in fact ga gona kuna gani yanzu gona yana bukatar taki ne taki an yi mana promise za a ba mu taki amma har yanzu taki bai iso mu ba tukunna muna rokon gwamnatin jaha yadda ta taimake mu ta kara taimakon mu ta taimaka mana da takin din Allah ya albarkace ta ya ba ta iko rike mu da taimaka mana kuma ga mu nan dai muna fama sai a taimaka mun gode Allah mun gode gwamnatin mu da yake taimakon mu Allah kuma ya bashi iko na taimaka mana so muna roko don Allah ku taimaka kai koken mu a taimaka mana da takin mu samu mu kara gonan mu gaskiya tunda mu an yi taraba state ba mu taba samu taimakon da muka samu a wannan shekara ba a karkashin gwamnatin Darius gaskiya gwamnatin nan gwamnatin nan yayi mana aiki sosai ya taimake mu da magunguna goran feshi iri to da ba mu da kudin da madamu sai irin din amma yanzu gashi mu yi noma muna jin dadi Yanzu wannan gyaran na cire ina cire ciya wannan zan sa wake ne a ciki kaga albarkacin gwamnatin Darius gwamnatin PDP duka mun gode ma gwamnatin nan sosai ale bashi basira sosai mun gode mishi yayi kokari taki kuma an ce mu noman da mu yi wai taki yana zuwa za saki a zuwa ba mu musa yanzu muna kokari a kama na taki mu je mu sa a gonar shinkafan mu suna son taki don an gi a mana taki zai zo kuma mun san su ba sa kare da su kawo muna gode musu sosai alle bashi karfi alle bashi 
Riko ya tamakeshi yende zee iya rike muta ni ya iya sosai kuma ale sake bashi ni san kwana mun gode mishi sosai Opposite this sesame and shogum farm is a corn plantation owned by Zaina She came to the farm to add fertilizer to her growing corn Taiki ni sena siya kango shanu na hada de taiki ni nsa dunya kishi wuta wuta don na sa taiki kwe urun wuta wuta na bare yiba wuta wuta zey kishi shi amana hada de kango zey kishi wuta 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 bare yima masara kumi ba de sada kwenye bu impike na dubusha bubu yenzuro kumu tunde shike kunche kuna bingo na ki ro kwamu muke yi muko ku temike mu manumi don ku yi ku fita de taki abin da yake sa manumi suna shan wahala taki babu from the gulum farm here in corner road we went to a rice field in nunke to speak with the chairman of the farmers association in the state he demonstrates his vast knowledge in agriculture in this interview rice was grown as food crop but it has taken the dimension of economic crop now. We send our rice. Even the, recently, you saw the Abuja pyramid. This rice essentially came from Taraba State. And uh, that some people came from all over to carry our rice, to go and display somewhere, for, I mean, portray themselves as the real farmers. But we are the farmers here in Taraba State. So we thank this government that is do, uh, what is doing. The food we, the, that uh, are produced in Taraba State do, are not sold only in Taraba State. Every year around, at the end of the year, you see vehicles coming from the east. They will come and carry rice to go and rebrand. In Okari, especially the Sukundi area, large agricultural produce like yam come from this axis. The predominantly people of Okari local government are farmers. And they speak the language which people understand, which is the Juku language. They speak it and they go into farming, they farm yam, they farm rice, they farm cassava. I'm almost clocking 50. There's no any government that have made an effort to apply this rule to tie it. But I want to tell you that the number of food items that come out of this village, out of this rule, it's uncountable. On this road, the number of rice they produce from Tukundi, there's a village ahead of us here. They produce a lot of rice, a lot of cassava, a lot of maize from this very particular village. So it's an applause to them. Before now, farmers had difficulty transporting their harvest from the village to the town due to the poor state of the road. But Governor Daros Ishaku has constructed the road, making it easy for goods to move. You can see this road now, a road that they used to travel one hour, two hours. But today, only 15 minutes. We take you from Okari down to Skundi, and you see people bring food items. You can see that people are passing now from the farm, going home. But in the past, it wasn't like that. So this road is timely. They tie this road timely because of the food items that is coming out of this place. Like Tuesday, it's the market day, you see the number of cows, cattle they're bringing out of this place. On Wednesday, you see the number of bags of rice maize that they're bringing out of this place. Even on Saturday, because this is a normal market day, and you see people bringing out their goose. During dry season, when they started harvesting yam, to prove me right, you can see that it's a young fan over there. You want to prove me right. During dry season, you see people, they bring their food items from the farm and they produce it within this area very well. And now, since they have the road connection, the network, road network connection to their doorstep, it makes things easier for them to bring all their goods to the town. In fact, even if they were farming only one hectare, now, it's an additional plus to them to increase to five hectares. If they were thinking that they, how will they transport their goods, they have the door, they have the road to their doorsteps. Now, they go ahead, they produce more. They increase their farm in size so that they can bring out more goods so that people 
can go to them and they also can bring it out and export it to people. So they get the, to the benefit. So this road is very timely and you can see it's nylon to the benefit of all of us. Other farming communities include Yoro and Zing local government, known for large produce of special yams, as well as Kurumi, known for the production of red cooking oil, and Jalingo, Ado Kola, Karim Lamido, Lao, Gaso, Bali, Ibi, and Donga, famous for the production of rice. The rivers Benue, Donga, Toraba and Lamode, which stretch several kilometers into the state, sustains water all year round and provides good source of water to dry season rice farmers. As home to different crops, Taraba is regarded as the third largest producer of rice in West Africa and the second in Nigeria. We have all kinds of agricultural produce in this state. Starting, name it. Is it yams? Is it soya beans? Is it bunny seed? Is it cocoa? Is it palm oil? Yes, we have palm oil. A lot of people didn't know. We grow it there. I have all the climatic zones in this state. Right from the semi-arid desert to the tropical. So all the plants, they grow here. Now, when we came on board, Nigeria was importing rice up to $8 billion. Because we have money, we are importing rice. And I told Mr. President, Taraba alone can feed the country with rice. Yes, and I mean it. Do you know that just in 2016, I empowered about 16,000 farmers. And they didn't farm during the rainy season. They farmed in the dry season. And I was wondering why? Why did you farm in the dry season? By the time they harvested, 10 of them bought brown new Mexifagasin tractors from their cells. All the companies that are in Kano and other places processing rice, they get their rice from Taraba. Mm. All the pyramid of rice, they go and mount in Abuja and places, it comes from Taraba. People of the state are mostly farmers who cultivate various types of food crops. As long as it is edible, you will find the crop grown on Taraba soil. Corn, groundnut, shogum, rice, soya beans, and the famous tarabayam. This state is blessed with immense agricultural products that can not only feed Nigeria alone, but beyond. Governor Dara Sishak has done a lot in not just providing seedlings and fertilizers to farmers, but grants as well to help them expand their farming. Until next week, when I bring you more on the exploits of Governor Dara Ishaku, I just want to say, Keep discovering Taraba.